Our team coverage continues tonight. Florida Power and Light crews are working to get the clock, working around the clock rather, to get supplies ready for what could be massive power outages across the state. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Lake, Lake Worth Beach, where he toured the FBNL headquarters. Ted. Yeah, Elliot and Rudy, right now here on the pier at Lake Worth Beach, things are looking relatively normal at this point. You can look over uh, where the people are on the beach there. Not as many people out here right now as there were earlier today, but what we are finding is that as we went around town, we saw the people are starting their preparations. Window protection is going up on city buildings around Lake Worth Beach. Crews are concentrating on the public library and city hall. Already the historical society building is set. Preparation and planning are key right now. All over town, crews are taking down or securing anything that could be a problem with high winds. At Benny's on the Beach restaurant at Lake Worth Beach Pier, it's relatively quiet right now. Many customers who would normally come have a lot to do today. It's definitely a lot slower than usual. This is usually the hot spot of the whole town. Things are busy at FPL's headquarters. We got a tour of the distribution center showing thousands of transformers, generators, and equipment ready to move out. We have a restoration workforce right now of about 5,000. We're reaching out to other utilities for assistance. This is the command center. It's here where everything is coordinated, like getting crews where they need to go. We're already starting to open what we call our processing sites up in North Florida, where we actually bring the crews in as we process them under our system and then we'll start identifying those other sites. What makes planning for this storm more difficult is that the cone is still so large. In the meantime, FPL says they've learned a lot and made improvements over the years. They stress restoring power should take less time. We saw that the enhancements that we've made to the grid have made the restoration process move faster. So as people begin their preparations here, the Emergency Operations Center in Palm Beach County is now beginning to put out information.